Welcome to the car. Kumarke was as an engineer. I'm impressed by the technology that our partners brought to this project. Working with it has been a rewarding experience for all of us. Welcome, I'm Kajima, one of the industrial designers. Our colony may be fairly new, but we've already accomplished a great deal. I hope you find our work here interesting. We're trying to build an industrial infrastructure while respecting Lucari design recommendations. It's, uh, let's say, challenging. For instance, they've included considerable xenoscaping. They're committed to incorporating native plant life into the design spaces. It takes considerable effort, but it does mean that our structures are less susceptible to invasive problems with local plant life. Dranur is quite the hidden paradise, don't you think? We only needed a minimum level of terraforming here. The fusion of Lucari and Kentari technology has been very effective. Our integrated tech output continues to impress. This display will confirm that. As you can see, our energy grid uses an array of natural power sources. This is the first of many hydropower sites on Dren. Beautiful, isn't it? Quite a sight, isn't it? I'm surveying the output as part of setting up hydropower here. Come upstairs. There's an excellent view of the colony grounds. The beauty of this world will survive only if we work to preserve and protect it. Let's head up to the science lab. They're working on some exciting projects. As you can see, we've made considerable progress here. Indeed. I'm quite proud of our achievements. There's more to be done, but the foundation we've laid is solid. Our researchers can be a bit eccentric. We should be able to get results from one of the lab consoles here. Expecting you. You've sent a good deal of interesting data to us. We've already been analyzing it. I'll let my companion Eschel explain the findings in more detail. Uh, thank you, my dear. The first thing I realized is that the inert particles should be orbiting to obey gravity rather than holding position. I've been focusing my attention there while Ursha has been reviewing the logs from the disabled satellite. Here, check the probe data from the moon. If some outside force was acting on the particles, it should also be affecting the moon. Odd that the moon is still orbiting normally, but the dust particles are not. Hmm. This data says that the moon is 55% germanium crystal. That's unusual. Funny. My ocular implants are picking up a noticeable amount of germanium here. There wasn't any outside. Where did that come from? Ah, we do have a few of the crystals here. Oh, strictly for study, of course. <laughs> don't worry. The anomaly prevents outside scans from detecting them. Oh, they're very safe down here. 
Here, I'll show you. You brought those here? Despite the danger they present? This was the best way to study them. We needed the lab's facilities. Oh, besides, we were just gonna take them back to the moon when we finished. Uh, just a moment. I'm getting a message. Captain Comarque, Zenkethi ships have just entered the system. They're firing an unknown projectile at the moon. Some kind of protomatter torpedo! A protomatter torpedo? That's not good. Their ships are turning toward the planet. If they have a torpedo, they may be able to hit us from orbit. The Zenkethi are ruthless. We need to ready our defenses. Why now? Why are they so interested in these crystals? The crystals! They're. Hatching? The Zenkethi are turning toward the planet. They're heading for us. We need to get the colony's defenses online right now. I think I can tap into their comms from here. Hold on. is blocking the way. Head down to the beach and around. We're still tapped into Zenkethi Cobbs. Increase your levels. Eliminate the defenses at once. Captain Paul, beam down from ground assault. It shall be done, Admiral.
collapse your defenses or be destroyed. I wouldn't recommend that. Are you here to bomb us or to eradicate this swarm? There are only a few Bansuli here. Let's clear this place and be done. Fifty credits has burned sheds of scale again. Mansuli infestation has been dealt with. Your assistance is appreciated. The suggestion? This colony has been using open communication channels. That is unwise. You never know who may be listening in out there after all. Let me check my scanner. The infestation seems to be eliminated. Usually it's best to be absolutely sure. But there doesn't appear to be a need to waste a protomatter weapon. Don't make this mistake again. Take immediate action if you suspect the presence of Transuli.